Hello everyone. Here I'm just showing you things that I just did for my Hitachi. Vintage Hitachi wolf in. Here, as you can see, it's number one. It's not a screw type. Uh, instead, it's just like that. Then like that. It's like a box fan for the back grill. The uh, signal the background. Yes, I did. <laughs> background noises. Yes, I signal. Okay, so that's one. Second is this heavy blade, very heavy blade. As you can see, this is not really how you install it. Maybe like people just do this and this and what, whatever. But nope, this one is just like the metal KDK blade. And these two are not connected together. They are only connected by this. So first, you must put this thing as usual. This way or this way or whatever as long as it is inside the groove yeah second of all this thing is very short as well and then you must hold this thing this thing then you put it but you don't put it any how you must follow this thing yeah, but this one is not as complicated as KDK. It's not the smaller hole, it is the bigger hole. You put it through the bigger hole. Ah, so heavy. Okay, yeah, like that when it goes in. You might think you, you spin it, then you can tighten it like that. But nope, it's not. And then this one is metal and it's very big and everything. And it's the opposite way for fan this one is the correct way but it is the opposite way for fan no usually left is tightened and right is loosened so that it doesn't have the risk of falling out but nope this is different this one is loosened to the left and fastened to the right the universal way so we tighten it it's a yellow is here over here uh, and then you tighten it like that make sure it is tight so that everything holds and then and the locks are oh wait I forgot to show you something the this plate is different as well it's it's not installed the way the usual way that you might see it most of the time it's installed differently it's two separate pieces to cover and hook this so um this is the hitachi thingy um it's also heavy but yeah let me just carry it anyway and put it okay let's put on the fan um wait it okay so you must put these things in and align everything okay and then you clip it one by one one two this one is a loose one three by at least it is better than the ayuna way better one two three four Oh, so it's very tight. And five. Please ignore the moaning at the back there. It's just a movie. And then, yeah, that's all. And the handle is over here. I know some people will say, oh no, it's at the bottom, but uh, you can put it anyway. I prefer it being at the top. So, yeah. Then another different thing about this fan is that it starts from three, so it's like a ceiling fan. So you must pull it three times each speed to make it start from number one. We just slide down. Yeah, it's a bit noisy, but it's very powerful and very smooth despite using bushings. And this is wood and this is a oscillation one plastic but I tape it with brown color 
tape because it was extremely brittle and I just want it to be the same color as well. Speak to three. Super powerful. I mean like if it's on the wall it is more powerful but eh I must wait for that 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 so yeah this can I put it over here and it can blow that wall fan like this might be a few meters away and like I'll scrap it the right I know the previous. I'm, I'm just okay. You know, let me just turn off real quick. Okay, and the swing thingy. This one is manual, and it's just so it's a bit hard to pull. This is oh, yeah, another different thing is that kitty cake. When it's, when it's inside, it's top, but this one, when it's inside, it's oscillating. When it's outside, for kitty cake, it's oscillating, but not for this one. You know, there is a flywheel thingy. This one is supposed to go into there, but um, the previous the previous not owner lah. I don't even know the owner. The person who fixed this because I bought this second hand at Gaya Guni, which is basically a thrift store. Like a person in Singapore, we just call it the thieves, the second thieves market because you you just go search it at Google because I'm very tight explain right now. So, yeah, the person who fixed this installed it wrongly, and yeah, this as usual, it is 90s. This place is so big, you can put your entire finger in it. The plug. When you turn it off, no light. When you turn it on, have light. I, my grandma have this at her place, but it's still not. But it was on the light, and it's still not used till today. Also, it is a vintage light too. So this plug is old, vintage, and uh, has an uh, iconic. Mm. Lion head thingy, uh, Singapore thingy, because it's been in Singapore, GCE, not GEC, okay. Yeah, fused, and you see something even more different here. There is no plastic thingy over here. No, don't have. So, if you can plug it, let me see if it works. Oh no, it works. Ah, there. There is dangerous. It work. It works, and there are exposed metals over here. Dangerous. Please make sure you plug it in fully before you use it, if you have this kind. And yeah, I'm just gonna tell you what I did with this fan as well. So first of all, like clean everything. I sanitized it. I uh, actually, yeah, I use a sanitizer, san um, sanitizer wet wipes. So, yeah, cause this fan wasn't it, it wasn't really that dirty when it came. I mean, when when I bought it, a lot of the information are are gone. There's the line here, then these are the specs, and then diagram is here this big. Cause you can see this few parts over here. I'm just gonna on the flash. Change my lens. Yes. Okay, so there. This is the the wiring diagram, and here is the specs, and here's a Hitachi thingy, and then it says made in Japan. While in Hong Kong, these are together. They are one sticker. This one are two sep 
in Singapore, this Singapore is a two separate stickers, and I guess the one in Hong Kong is more shiny.